Hi everyone, my name is Michael Clark and I have been looking at higher level mathematics here on Online Grinds for the last 10 weeks. We are offering uh, an Easter revision package for all those interested in starting or sampling our product. And you can gain access to both the, the maths grinds and indeed all the subjects here on Online Grinds for a figure of 30 euro. And over the course of the two weeks of the Easter holidays, you'll be able to look at any grind, any subject that's been archived on the system's website over the last 10 weeks. So we hope that after sampling that, um, th th those grinds, you might consider uh, taking on online grinds further. We have eight weeks left in this term, and I will be outlining those, what will be left in those eight weeks. You'll find those details on the website at the tops that we're looking at. But as to what we've covered so far, I have looked at six classes uh, for paper one and four classes for paper two. So. Weeks one, two, three, and four, I looked at algebra, financial mathematics, and complex numbers. Algebra, in many ways, that's relatively similar to what you would have done or what would have been asked on previous old-fashioned syllabuses. So there's nothing too exotic, nothing too scary. Financial mathematics, that's something that many students have found very, very difficult. Financial maths is asked in uh, the new section B on paper one, generally contexts and applications. So it is a challenge. It's something that many students have found quite difficult. So please do have a look at that grind carefully if you, when you actually look at the entire uh, set of grinds. Complex numbers, again, relatively straightforward, not too different from what uh, we would have been looking at in previous old-fashioned pre-project maths era. Now, for weeks five to eight, I looked at paper two material. Weeks five and six, we looked at the coordinate geometry of the line and the coordinate geometry of the circle. The coordinate geometry of the line is certainly one of the topics that has got somewhat easier and less content heavy than in previous math syllabuses. So that's something that most of you should find quite easy. And we looked at all, those, all the problems that have ever been asked in Project Max in one session. Coordinate geometry of the circle, again a topic a lot of students find relatively straightforward, but of course you must maximize your marks as much as you can to make sure you do well in the subjects that are particularly easy. Question seven and question eight are statistics and probability, and they are given huge emphasis on paper two. And they could account for up to half of paper two or one quarter of your entire leaving search result. So please be conscious that statistics and probability, while relatively straightforward, are incredibly important. And you really have to maximize your scores in those particular modules to make sure you get a good result overall. Now, over the last two weeks, we've had a sort of a back to the past uh, enjoyable sessions with looking at differential calculus. This year for the 2013 Leaving Cert exam, differential calculus and integral calculus that we'll be looking at after Easter is entirely from the old syllabus. Old fashioned questions that can be quite demanding in algebraic intensity and so on. Old fashioned questions. You're actually better off for weeks nine and 10 differential calculus to look at the old archived papers on, ex on um, websites rather than the phase three pilot exams that have already integrated a new calculus course. So the vast majority of 2013 students will be looking at old questions from old past papers and they will be asked in questions part sorry, section C of paper one. So we have 10 weeks complete. We have eight weeks to go. We will be looking at integration and other forms of paper one material for the next two weeks. Then we'll return to paper two for weeks 13 through 16, and our last two weeks will be um, revision of various topics. It'll be vital for students to actually go through the material, to see what they do and do not know, and that can guide us as to what I'll revise in those later editions. So just to re reiterate, for 30 euro, you gain access to the entire archive in all subjects for onlinegrinds.ie. I realize the Easter holidays can be a stressful period for many of you, that the demands of study can be very, very exacting. That's what a product like Online Grinds can give you. It can give you quick access to leaving search higher level solutions of these various topics here. So I would recommend that you might try and spend you know, a small part of your day uh, going through the, the actual archive material, practicing what you've learned in those sessions, and to do it on a daily basis rather than trying to splurge it all in one go. But of course, we understand that the Easter period can be stressful and difficult for all of you, but I would recommend perhaps looking at one session per day over that 14-day period, and hopefully we'll see you for week 11 and week 12, where we'll be looking at integral calculus and finishing and before returning to paper two. So I wish you a very, very happy Easter. I hope the next two weeks are fruitful for you, and over the next eight weeks, starting on the 8th of April, we'll be back with week 11. Thank you.